Welcome along to my channel today. I'm doing a reading for, you know, anyone who watches it now and anyone who watches it later. It's not for any sign or person. So, keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. You can also find uh, some things on my Etsy shop, like my holographic stickers, my oracle cards, my tarot cards, a mini holographic version of my oracle cards. My pins now as well. We have Serapis Bay pin, White Raven pin, as well as the Green Man pin. All that's in the description down below on my Etsy shop. You can also find my shirt store and my website, different social media platforms on even Twitch and Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to join the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. So let's see. I, I want to say Scorpio. See here what decided to come out. We have the Grail Maiden. Okay. I'm gonna have a look at some more cards first. Sword 10, Washer at the Ford, and it's funny because this is like the death card in this deck, which is the death card of Scorpio, so it's kind of funny that that is there. A Spear 7, we have the Cauldron, Sword, or Stone Hollow, Grail 10, Sword Maiden. We have two Maidens here. Okay, that doesn't mean it in the bad way. All right. So the washer at the ford. The washer at the ford is the goddess of love and death. The dark face of Salvinir. She receives the death warrior and challenges the callow candidate for kingship when she appears as a hag. You must be kissed. She is both Morgan, who receives the wounded Arthur for healing, and Modron, mother of Mabon. The raven is her bird. The release of outworn ideas, stale relationships and old patterns, ruthless yet compassionate action, sexual union, SSC renewal. Question, what do you need to let go of? Where can you completely engage? What wants the opportunity to grow again? So what, what do you need to let go of here? What is stale? What are you outgrowing? Alright, and what wants to be renewed again? Hmm. What's the cauldron? Three of the nine maidens whose breath maintains the heat of the cauldron and when the underworld are at their muse like work. This is the cauldron that Arthur seeks in his descent to Anwen in the ship of Priordan. Also in the ancestral cavern of ancient kings in Adrabask in the heat. Meditation, harmonious fusion, moderation, compatibility, creative or alchemical, the combination of resources or potentials, blending or merging with a new idea of balanced living, united front, experience, healing. What brings healing in the situation? What are you planning? Which concepts are meeting and building those? So what is what is combining here? Alright, what ideas do you have? Alright, it must be meditation here as well. Spear of Seven. An ancient dwelling is fortified and well defended in Arthur's protection of Britain. Courageous ability, success despite, despite opposition, tenacity and persistence, defense of strong held beliefs. Question, where do you have to take a stand? So what are you defending against? Where do you have where do you set you know, where do you set boundaries at and where do you take stands at? Okay. It feels like you are gaining success despite the odds here. Alright, we have the sword, sword 10, and sword maiden. We also have the grail. The sword was the first one, actually. Sword 10. Question, what is the narrow way out? Okay. So this one is like a decisions 
situations. But it feels like you, you know, you were faced with some things here and you persisted on through that, right? You gained success despite uh, things being against you here. Now it feels like we have new ideas, alright, we have something here wanting to be renewed and also letting go of that which is stale. Okay, we have the Grail Grail, ten, sword, sword maiden, sword maiden. It says, did drain Percival's sister weaves a sword belt and embroideries a scabbard with her hair. An insightful, quick, truthful, flexible, discerning person, unexpected, sometimes challenging news. Question, what cuts to the heart of the matter? So this sword maiden can be a person that you know. We already described how they are right here. Or it could be you. Huh? But we have the Grail. Grail 10. By the seashore, the path leads to a brooch. A brooch? Or whatever. I don't know. Nearby stands the Grail. Contentment, the holiness of home or family, fellowship and sharing, peace and happiness. Question, what is at home here? So what makes you at home here? What makes you feel at home? Alright. We also have the holiness of home or family here. Okay, and then we have the Grail Maiden. Beside the spring, the Grail Maiden stands holding an earthenware vessel, an imaginative, creative, loving, sympathetic, artistic, humanitarian person, a dream, inspirational news. Question, how do you serve the Grail? Okay, and how do you serve spirit here? Okay. This Grail Maiden might be yourself here. After that, we have Stoke Hollow. In the earth of an underground cavern, the board glows with power. Wisdom, spiritual treasures, consolation, well-being, prosperity, instinct, natural law. Question, where is your hidden treasure? Alright, you have some hidden treasures here within yourself, some spiritual powers here. Okay, that feels like it needs to be renewed. Alright. That is what is coming into existence here. A spear four. I'll look at that card in a minute. And the stone queen. Spear hollow. The spiral tower. Sword 3, Grail 2, Sovereignty. Grail 7. Alright, so we have the tower in that one. The goddess of the land, Lady Salpinerity, offers her cup of truth while besides her runs the stream of white, red, and black liquid, betokening the initiation, acclamation, and death of the rightful ruler that lies in her cup. Arthur and all monarchs must acknowledge her, for she alone recognizes the true queen, king, her ermine, her is a beast of Salpinerity. Okay. Justice, equity, rightful rule, vindication of integrity, fair exchange, balanced re reaction, just representation, honest relationships, impartiality. Oh, in part? I don't know. Questions. How does this help or harm? What is the motivation of this matter? How is truth and justice served here? Okay, so, have truth and justice. What these questions here you need to answer, alright? But, you do have justice here. Okay. And there's a need to recognize this, alright, this person that just came out. Stop an area, you need to recognize that. Able to move forward. Also, it feels like we have a person here, a connection, right, love, but that person needs to recognize spirit here, the divine, and all these that just came up. They also need to recognize that. Alright. That is what it feels like. Like, you have a connection here. And I see you waking up, you uh, 
gain your spiritual power, your spiritual wisdom, all that sort of stuff. However, your person here also needs to do the same. So that you'd be able to come together. Otherwise. Lightning shatters the tower upon a high tour. The spiritual tower remains. Although the round table fellowship falls apart, the eternal order, indicated by the zodiacal signs, continues to glow within the land. An owl flies with its prey. Radical change is part of the soul's evolution. Shocking change, the realization of limitations, liberation from outworn concepts, phases, or behavior, humility, natural forces, explosions of poisons, loss of cozy security, transfiguration, self-awareness. Question, what is breaking down or dysfunctional? What needs to go? What sudden realizations strike you? All right, so there's a lot of change suddenly. All right, tower. Boom. Okay. Um, see, once again, letting go of what is stale. All right, and I feel like, in a love sense, feels like your your person here is gonna have this sudden realization of boom. Okay, like this sudden spiritual awakening and recognition here of spirit, because that is what is needing to happen. That is what needs to happen for this to come together. Um. Grail, sword, sword three. Since we need to move on to sword three now. A broken bridge. Percival Mother. Oh, that's sad. Loss, sorrow, separation, a breakup, jealousy, deep disappointment, bereavement. Question what is being lost? So we have something here being lost. What's very interesting, because this card talks about um, illusions and delusion here. What's very interesting is we have a letting go of something here. Okay. We have a release of a stale relationship, like a breakup here. Alright. We have Grail 2, which is love. So even though we're really... You are releasing something that is not really serving anymore. Alright, it feels like that of a relationship. But we have love here coming in anyways. Alright, and it feels like I'm doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio because that's what came out here. Alright, and it feels like you're both recognizing each other. Alright, you're recognizing spirit, you're coming forward here. And they're also doing the same here. Okay. So you have Spear. Spear 4 and Spear 8. Spear 4. The path leads from the distant woods, branching off at a settlement. Beside the path stands a garlanded spirit. Successful enterprise, festival, and celebration, enjoying the fruits of your labor, a new house. Question, what does it cause a celebration here? Also feels like a success is coming here, and a new house here. Alright, that's gonna be another big thing. Spirit. Spirit 8. Spirit hurdles downstream, reminiscent of Queen of how Queen Ice Light and Tristan sent secret love messages to each other. Swiftness, speedy progress. Expeditions, hasty perpetration, prophetic insight, communication, coincidence, question, what is the urgency? Yeah, it feels like there's some hasty, um, you know what? That card's not even there, but I read it for a reason, so we're going to leave it there. It feels like there's some communication coming in quite fast between you and this person, because there has been that change here, alright? There's been this tower here. Okay, there's been a removal of what is no longer serving. Blockage is removed so that this can come in. Alright, but we have Spear Hollow. Spear Hollow, where are you? Is that we're supposed to be read instead of that? The spear that both heals and cuts away corruption rises from the fires of the deep earth. Creativity, beginnings, birth, innovation, purpose, energy, light, cleansing of corruption. Question, what light guides you? What is guiding you here? Alright, but we're having beginnings, we're having birth. We're ha it feels like a birth of... Feels like a new beginning for yourself here. Okay, creation, um, light here, but also a birth of this connection here. Okay. We have the Stone Queen. Stone Queen sits at the window of her castle. A black bird perches on her hand. She holds up a mirror to the scene. Board is set, ready for play nearby. A nurturing, abundant, productive, resourceful person, organized, prosperity question where you must place your resources. So I feel like you're having someone here who is like what we just described, this stone queen, right? Coming in. Doesn't matter what sign they are, but they are like nurturing towards you. Okay? Nurturing.
Yeah, spear five. Sword seven. Stone seven. Grail hollow. Spear king. Grail four. Sword five. Stone six. Okay. Sword five. Sword seven. A house burns in a devastated landscape. Arthur fought against pitiless destruction of ruthless lords and invaders. Defeat, slander, contention, cowardice, divisive means, unethical behavior, thwarted plans, malicious attacks. Question: What is causing division here? All right. So we have that, and then do we have another? Yes, yeah, word seven. Galahad was the only knight capable of pulling the sword from the floating stone. Unstable effort, plans fail, little progress, self-deceit or self-doubt, passivity, quarrels. Question, where is the reservation or deception? We have someone here who's going, who... <laughs> we have someone here who may try to slander you or this here. Okay. Cause some sort of issues here. In your life or connection it, I don't I don't really see it affecting the connection or you a whole lot but just be aware of someone trying to do that okay so spear king and spear five spear five against a settling a setting sun cross spears rest against a monolith Contention and strife, salutary struggle, competitiveness, dictatorial attitudes, obstruction. Question, who are you trying to best? Alright, we have Spear King. Can we also be like a competitor here, trying to like... Get in the way? Could be the Spear King. Spear King. At a forge, the Spear King tests the keenness of his spear's point. A warm, a family, or a friendly, committed, entrepreneurial, and magnanimous person, a promise fulfilled. Question, how are you enabling this? Okay. Then we have grails. Grail 4, Grail Hollow. Grail Hollow right here. The Grail Hollow appears over a mountain stream. Fertility, abundance, beauty, joy, pregnancy, nurture, healing, gladness, compassion, universal love. Question, where is your love committed? Alright, these questions are, are important. Alright answer those questions or ask those questions but we have we have fertility and pregnancy here so that could be something in the future or whatever but overall abundance nurturing universal love Near a standing lake of stagnant water, a cup lies overturned in brambles. Lethargy, boredom, spiritual stagnation, dissatisfaction, emotional immaturity. Question, what is causing dissatisfaction? I feel like what is causing dissatisfaction is like people trying to overturn you all the time. Alright, so stone six, stone seven. An ancient stone circle becomes a place for a new gathering. Material success, good fortune, share, generosity, charity, patronage, gifts, thankfulness, the great work, share, and question, what do you have to share? So when you have this abundance, make sure you do share that, because that is what attracts more abundance, is generosity. Alright, but we do have success here as well. Uh, stone summon. A great wall stretching across northern hills, it is broken. Nearby stands a stone, a symbol stone. Persistence, patient, exertion, and continual effort, fruitless speculation. Question, what will mend what is broken? Yeah, if, what it feels like here... Okay, we have a bunch of things happening. First off, you continuing to um, persevere and get success, all right, even through the odds, even through people trying to come against you here. But it also feels like it's, we have a connection here of being mended, all right, in the beginning with that renewal. We have a couple things happening. So we have a split up, right, of you and a person, and we have another person coming back around to you who is nurturing, all right. We're both having this, both seeing spirit and recognizing it. Sovereignty. I 
have Spear 2, Spear 9, the Grail Hermit, the Star, Spear Queen. That is, that is what it is. It's the Spear Queen here. Spear Queen. Spears are fire. Alright, it's wands. So that could be fire set. So Aries Leo Sag. The White Heart. Yeah, you're having this unit with this person here. Yeah. Spear 3, Stone 2. Okay, so we're gonna get into your cards here, but this is basically. Yeah, let's just get into your cards here so I can explain this better. We'll pass the card that I want to see. White Heart. Eve is transfixed by the sight of the mystical White Heart, while her lover, Geraint, kneels at her feet in adoration. The first quest of Arthur's court was the hunt for the White Heart. The beast was then dedicated to the fairest lady at court. The lovers suffer many trials before they are united. Love, trust, the marriage of minds and hearts, friendship, de desire fulfilled, attraction, call of spiritual vocation. Question, what is your heart's desires? Where is love in this matter? What attracts you? Okay, see, we're having love here. Alright, where there was hardship, see that? Been able to come together because it feels like what has been, uh, what was in the way is being released. And then we're having spiritual recognition of spirits, spirits around you that are trying to communicate, and then recognition of each other here. Okay. We have Grail Hermit. The Grail Hermit sits near his hermitage. His dove sits on a man here, or a pillar stone, because the quest is for everyone. He is a servant of both the old and new spiritual traditions. His role is to counsel seekers on their quest, providing spiritual hospitality, rest, and reinvigoration, as well as time to refocus. We have guidance, spiritual truth, wise counsel, introspection, space for reassessment, maturity, conscious companionship of one's guardian angel or companion spirit. Question, what guidance is being offered here? What seeks to be born in silence? What illumination are you seeking? So what are you seeking here? We're having spiritual truth, spiritual guidance here. Okay, we're having maturity here on both sides. It's what it feels like with here, all right, and also providing providing uh, guidance for others that you've learned. And we have the star. A watchman witnesses a dragon-tailed comet over Logres. A second watchman sleeps. A cockerel heralds the dawning of a new era when the Pendragons will bring land from anarchy, tribal rivalry, and invasion to a state of defensive peace. The dragon is the emblem of the Pendragons, Uther and his son Arthur. Hope, dreams, faith, desire, trust, a new cycle, inspiration, protection of loved ones, refreshment, a new influence in social consciousness. Question. What do you hope for in this matter? What shoots of renewal are showing? What is the source of your refreshment? Okay, so, yeah, this is like a new cycle here, a new dawn, okay, between you and this love, alright, that is being brought in here. Alright, so what do we have? Do we have any swords? No, we have spears here. We have spear, queen, three, nine, and two. Spear 2. Grant wins the Sparrow Hawk contest through his skill in arms. Control, mastery, maturity, attainment of goals, dynamic drive, courage, determination. Question, what is driving you towards your goal? I do see you achieving your goal here. Um, yes. You're retaining that. But there's also a sense of maturity, like I said, on both parts. Spear 3. The Forest of Adventure leads seekers deeper into their quest. Confidence, expansiveness, proven strength, enterprise, enterprising initiative. Question, how are your plans creating your path? You see, we're enterprising here as well, as well. I don't know why I repeated myself, but, all right, because like you and this person, you both matured, you're both like, um, planning up ahead for your goals, your dreams, okay, through business, career. All that stuff. Spear 9. Turbulent sea crashes against the high, jagged cliffs on which a spear stands. Enduring strength, difficulties ahead, 
laying down reserves, preparation against adversity, risk assessment. Question, what keeps you preser preserving? Okay. That's Spirit Queen. An expressive, passionate, sympathetic, and organized person. Constant friendship, care, and environment. Question, where is your passion being committed? So I feel like this is this love here. All right, the Spear Queen, Stone Queen. Okay, someone who is compassionate, someone who is nurturing, someone who is expressive, someone who is matured here. All right, this is someone that you've already known. Where it feels like that connection is being mended. All right, there was difficulties, but we're coming into union here. Stone too. A river splits in two on a snowy valley, valley calling Palamides vain in search or oh, vain search for isolation. Fluctuation, integrity, scrupulousness, careful choice, the ability to multitask, instinctive assessment, play. Question what is the best way now? And figuring out what's the best way uh, through all this as well. Alright, so let's move on to some oracle cards here. We're 43 with the word lord, communication, praise, dishonesty. Number two, the High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action. Number 34, with the Winged Wise Ones, Angelic Help, and Miraculous Aid. Number seven, the Will Watcher, Wisdom, Power of the Divine. Number nine, the Ringmaster of Scrutiny, Discernment, Clear Vision, Details. Number 35, the Lady of Lightning, Surprise, it's sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. Number 21, the Wise Woman of Wonderland, Integrity, Compromise. Number one, with the High Lady of Love and Compassion, Reverence, Kindness, Consideration. Yeah, you see that? We have this Lady of Lightning Tower. Boom. Big shift here. Okay. You have your angels here helping you. And it feels like bring in this Lady of Love and Compassion. All right. Who's also that of Wise as well. Okay. You're approaching the well. The well, like the wishing well here. Someone who's also spiritually, like, in service. It feels like you're going to be serving the spirit here as well, because we were having a question of how do you serve. Number 29 with the Phoenix Resurrection, Surrender to Change. Number 27, the Sacred Union Partnership. Romance. Oh, that's that's a card about the author. But <laughs> number thirty-eight, keeper of the scales, fairness, balance. Number eighteen, Gaia's garden, fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. Swan queen. Number thirteen, transformation, initiation or intuition, patience. Number thirty-two, with the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. Number twenty-six, the rainbow prince, compensation, perseverance. 37 the metal king discipline armor boundaries all right this is guy's garden and we have abundance coming in reaping what you sell reaping what you put out in the universe here okay we have balance here justice with this keeper of scales all right but we're having this romance that is res resurrection here renewing all right transformation intuition okay this is causing celebration here Three, with the spirit whisper, divine guidance, higher knowing. Number 41, the cosmos, creativity, vastness. Number 16, the shadow queen, acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation. Number 22, which is important number, the resting tree, patience, stillness. Number 44, which is also important number, the lady of the mirror, reflection, non judgment. Number 8, with the dream walker, dreams, the collective good, illusions. Number 20, the lady of the gift, generosity, receiving, withholding. Number 40, the fire prince, optimism, aggression. Okay, yeah, see, we connecting with spirit here all right we were able to communicate with them maybe even through dreams here okay but we have the lady of the gift what I feel like goes back to that high lady of loving compassion 
Okay, maybe even having dreams of them, communicating through dreams. It definitely does feel like that of fire. All right, but we're also having the Shadow Queen, which is different from that person, which you need to avoid. All right. Two with the High Priestess, Discernment, Prophecy, Vision, the 46 with Death, Death, Death Guard, Scorpio. Number 9, the Eagle, Spirit, Integrity, Connection to the Angelic Realm. Number 34 with Wealth. Number 29, the Wind Fairy, Thoughts, Words, Intellectual Analysis. Number 20, the Cow, Nourishment, Abundance, Asking, Receiving. Number 51 with Truth. Number 22, which we've seen that earlier, the Deer, Gentleness, Diplomacy. Okay, yeah, the High Priestess here. You're connecting with the High Priestess. You are, you are intuitive yourself here, where you do have that connection to spirit, but you're also connecting with someone, like I said before, who is also in service, who is the High Priestess here. We also have wealth coming in. Truth, you've asked for this, you're going to be receiving it, all right? the frog, cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage, number 52 with the mystery, restriction number 35, number 28 the water fairy, feelings and emotions, number 45 with love, number 24 the dragon, power, strength, number 48 with fear, number 50 with rebirth, rebirth, yeah it feels like there's a rebirth here of love, of a connection, where there was restrictions there before, maybe there's fear over that, but either way, releasing that fear, okay, Emerging into power. It must be you blocking the Libra. Restriction with mystery. That mystery symbol reminds me of Libra. There. Number 37 with joy. Number 33, which is an important number for focus. Number 5, the novice. Innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity. Number 4 with the queen. Woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, friendships. Number 36 with movement. Number 10 with the raven. Magic, coincidence, synchronistic events. Number 8, lady of the lake. Absolute truth, courage, self respect, responsibility. Number 30 with the fire fairy. Creative action, optimism. Yeah, feels like there's a, there's a fire queen here. That. There's going to be movement between you and them. It could be magical. High Priestess connected with magic. We have the Lady of the Lake judging them whether or not you are, uh, quote unquote, worthy for this to come in. But it feels like they may be learning something new here with the Queen and Novice. There's a need to focus here because joy is coming up ahead. And on the bottom of the deck, here we have the Serpent, which it feels like you may be the Serpent here. The serpent can be the Snake, the Snake can be the Chinese zodiac sign, the snake, so that would be your sign. And then we also have the horse king, which can be the horse, Chinese zodiac sign of the horse. So you may be snake connecting with the horse here. Alright, which is kind of weird how that all works, but hey, it works. Now the queen of swords, which is air. Judgment, Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords. So I see you watching this person here. Maybe they have air placements. But I see you watching this person and where there's a return there. You see that? Judgment, Eight of Wands, Page of Swords. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. Alright. I'll see this person being in the Queen of Swords mode. Alright. Or I see them kind of like cutting people around them off and out. It doesn't even have to be in a love way, just like, you know, they're the Queen of Swords. However, I don't really feel like they'd be the Queen of Swords towards you.
Number six, or number six. <laughs> the Six of Swords, the Death card, which is Scorpio. Eight of Swords, King of Wands, which also feels like yourself here. Star, which is Aquarius. Strength, which is Leo. Four of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yeah, we're having a new beginning here. New beginning, rebirth. Um, Spear Hollow, if you remember. All right, King of Wands, Spear King. There's a lot of transformation here happening, okay? A lot of strength, a lot of spiritual strength uh, as well. Star, if you remember that earlier. Wishes are coming true, dreams are coming true, new era, new cycle. of swords, ten of swords, three of swords, two of swords, king of swords, which is air, the knight of cups, temperance, which is Sagittarius, the hermit. It feels like you're a bit unsure on whether or not to kind of leave this alone, to, or what to do here. Alright. I think it'll be fine. But, um, let's also see, you see, you're both in the same way here. They're the sword queen, you're the king of swords. Okay. It's obviously your own free will at that point in what you do, whether you approach them or not. You have a Lovers, Page of Cups, the Empress, the Tower, which we've seen earlier, Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, High Priestess. You see that? I like it. This is a confirmation of everything I've been saying through this entire reading. So yeah, you are connecting with the High Priestess here. This person is the High Priestess, right? Queen of Wands, Temperance, High Priestess. Where you're coming into union with this person, having a new beginning with them. See that all things that were in the way are being removed. All right. It's like be like like you know. It's happening quite suddenly and unexpectedly. And of sorts tells me that there's communication here. All right. And new beginnings with this person. They are emerging as the empress because they have matured while you've been away. All right. So. Um. Like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop, go on and go buy something, really appreciate that. And don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get some really easy some charms for you. We have success here, we have strength, we have love and partnerships, we have movement, we can have travel as well, we have initiation and opening, magic, um, also yeah, magic and feminine. So, let's continue on, but hey, go check out those links in the description down below and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Alright, so this is probably like in the middle of the stream when you're watching this, and this is just a reminder to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, alright, that really helps out the channel. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. Going to be a bunch of other things in the description down below, like my tarot cards on my Etsy shop, uh, and my oracle cards, my holographic stickers, and my pins, which we have a Serapis Bay pin, White Raven pin, the green man pin. All that's in the description down below. 
below for you to check out. And keep in mind that this reading is not for any specific sign or person. It's just for who watches it now and who watches it later. Okay? So let's see. Yeah, the Priodin, Flowering of Logos, Round Table, Sword Knight, The White Heart, Grail Hollow, Stone Three, Spear King. Alright, so what it feels like here, looking at some of your cards, I don't know all the meanings yet, but looking at your cards here, it feels like you have a union. Alright? You have a union about to happen between you and your person here. Romantic union. Where there's about to be a new beginning. Alright? There's been a lot of hardships and challenges in the past. And it strongly feels like you're about to come together here. Okay? So let's get the book. And let's see. As Enid is transfixed by the mystical white heart while her lover, Geraint, kneels at her feet in adoration. The first quest of Arthur's court was the hunt for the white heart. The beast was then dedicated to the fairest lady at court. Lovers suffer many trials before they are united. It says love, trust, the marriage of mind and hearts, friendship, desire fulfilled, attraction, a call, call of spiritual vocation. Question, what is your heart's desires? Where is love in this matter? What attracts you? Okay, so it's important to answer those questions so the spirit can understand what it is exactly you're asking for in your life. Arthur Ship Priordan, flying to the White Boar Standard of Cornwall, takes him and his men on the perilous voyage in search of the cauldron of Pen Anwin, the lord of the underworld that cooks the food of heroes, not of cowards. On this earliest grail quest, the company of Pardon passed through many trials, but only seven returned, including Tillisian and Arthur. It says victory, self-confidence, self-discipline, achievement, travel, determination, courage, movement, imagination. Question, where are you going? What are the limits? Where does self-control come in? So where are you going? Where are you wanting to move to? Where are you wanting to move forward, right? What are you wanting to achieve here? The round table. Through a Merlin's eye, a stone hinge, above it is a round table. Well, above this is a circle of stars surrounding a crystal cup. From the circle of tribal council to Arthur's round table into the future visions of peaceful government, we seek balanced ways of representing the rights of all beings. It says timelessness. Time, timeliness, I don't know. Good fortune, cycle change, cause and effect, next phase or opportunity, cosmic law, questions. What patterns are forming now? What is evolving? What guidance do your experiences give you? Okay, these questions here are important. So what is evolving? What are you moving on to? What are you moving forward to? What are you wanting to evolve into? All right. This is talking about the next phase here in your life of you moving forward here. Okay, and that feels like towards your lover or partner. It says, the landscape of the seeker card is he here restored. Mature seeker joins hand with the children of the Tillisian card in delight. The bee and the butterfly represent renewed fertility. The healing of the wasteland is the aim of the quest for the hollows, now the land of loggers. Flowers, once again, then the rainbow path. It says perfection, restoration, culmination, triumph, attainment, rapture, healing and benefit, a new era, a sense of unity. Questions, what makes things whole? What is being restored here? How can you enjoy the freedom and abundance being offered? Okay, and yeah, we have something being restored here. Okay, and that feels like a lot of things in your life are going to be restored here. Alright, you're moving on to the next phase, next cycle. 
Okay, everything is coming together, but what it especially feels like is that we have a love connection being restored here as well. Okay. So you got the sword knight. Lancelot salutes the dawn with his upraised sword. An incisive, fair, skillful person who champions the weak. Unsought for help, restitution. Question, what is being championed? Okay, I feel like, yeah, you have overcome obstacles to get to this point. And we have the Spear King. Spear King. At a forge, the Spear King tests the keenness of his spear's point. A warm, friendly, committed, entrepreneurial, and magnificent person. A promise fulfilled. Question, how are you enabling this? Alright, so the Spear King can be yourself or that of your partner. It doesn't matter what sign they are, by the way. If Grail Hollow. A Grail Hollow appears over a mountain stream. It says fertility, abundance, joy, be uh, joy, beauty, pregnancy, nurture, healing, gladness, compassion, universal love. Question, where is your love being committed to? Once again, love. He's like that, um, this new era love, this new phase in your love cycle, right? In your love relationship. It can also be fertility and pregnancy here. Okay, because we have this grill hollow, and then we have that with children over there. Last one being stone three. Stone three. Standing stone stands near plowed fields. On a distant hill is a chalk figure. Construction, craftsmanship, professional mastery, practical skills, good organization, and skills bring honor. Creative instinct. Question, what is your best work? And what is your best work here? Alright. Be new beginnings with that. Like new phases of that. Your best work here. The craft. This is the wrong deck, dudes. Dudes and girls. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have the moon, which we do have this full moon coming up, and once again, when we're talking about fertility and pregnancies there, we have a child here in the moon, waiting to be born. We have stone seven, stone hollow, the star, spear six, spear three. Now let's pull a couple more cards before we get into this. The Spear Queen and Stone Five. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna start with the star in the moon. This book is upside down. Star coming first for the moon. Star. A watchman watch it witnesses a dragon-tailed comet over Lagros. Second watchman sleeps. Cockroach heralds a new, heralds the dawning of a new era when the pen dragons will bring the land from anarchy, tribal rivalry, and invasion. To a state of defensive peace, the dragon is the emblem of the pen dragons, Uther and, Ar and his son Arthur. Of hope, faith, desire. Dreams, trust, a new cycle, inspiration, protection of loved ones, refreshment, a new influence, and social consciousness. Questions. What do you hope for in this matter? What shoots of renewal are showing? What's the source of your refreshment? You see that yet once again on a new era, new cycle, new. Okay? Things are being refreshed for you. The moon. The salmon leads the way to the discovery of Mammon, the god of innocence and truth. Lost from the beginning of time, the finding and ironically depicted in the full moon is one of the quest of Colwich, Arthur's nephew. Only the oldest animals remember Mammon's location. 
It says, generation and gestation, cycle growth patterns, fluctuation, dreams and visions, deep memory, introspection, the creative process, seasonal around, instinct question, what are your dreams telling you? What grows in the darkness? What messages do your instincts bring? Once again, we're, there's big emphasis on dreams, psychic dreams here, okay? Spears, Spears, three, six, queen. Spear 3. Force of adventure leads seekers deeper into their quest. Confidence, expansiveness, proven strength, enterprising initiative. Questions, how are your plans creating your path? Alright, so. It's a big thing on, like, your, your plans. Alright? Your dreams here. Like, your ambitions, your goals. Alright, and it feels like you've proven yourself. You've proven your strength here. And that's why you're having all this coming into your life. Spear 6. The banner of victory flies to acclaim Arthur's great triumph over the Saxons at Mount Badon. Victory, advancement, pride and achievement, recognition, ceremonial honors, promotion, efforts, reward, question, what do you have to be proud of? What do you have to be proud of already? But it feels like there's a lot of advancement here. Um, what was that? Oh yeah, in your craft. Alright, there's a lot of expansion on that. Okay, a lot of victory with that. And then we have a spear queen, which can be yourself. An expressive, passionate, sympathetic, and organized person. Constant friendship, care of the environment. Question, where's your passion being committed? And where's your passion being committed here? Alright, and then we have a stone. Stone hollow, five and seven. Stone hollow. In the earth of an underground cavern, the board glows with power. Wisdom, spiritual treasures, consolation, well-being, prosperity, instinct, natural law. Question, where's your hidden treasure? And where's your hidden treasure here? Okay, so that talks about the spiritual hidden treasures within yourself here, okay? Could be that involved here in your craft, or maybe that is your craft here. A barren, desolate, wind-sept landscape where all is lost. Adversity, insecurity, strain, barren prospects, loneliness, destitution, loss of home or means, lack of ground in question, what is causing insecurity? What, what causes insecurity in your life as well? A great wall stretching across northern hills, it is broken. Nearby sands, a symbol of stone. Persistence, patience, exertion, and continual effort, fruitless speculation. Question, what will mend what is broken? Okay, so, yeah. It, it feels like there's a mending of a broken connection, a broken love connection between you and a person here, which may have fallen apart, okay? And there's a coming back together where there's this new cycle because it feels like you've proven your strength here to spirits be able to receive that, all right, to be able to receive all of this here. And the Spiral Tower, Stone Maiden, Sword Maiden, Sword Hollow, Spear Nine, we have Arthur, we have Arthur appearing in the reading, we have Gawain, and then we have Spear Five, okay, so we have Tower and Arthur as a major arcana. Arthur is a primordial guardian of the land of Britain, from Dark Age battler who wielded warring tribes together to medieval king whose round table brought justice. He's recognized by Sovereignty's champion. He sits upon a throne in which the high mount in the high mountain passes of Snowdonian. Behind him is the Draco standard of the Pendragons. It says leadership, authority of energy, organization, courage. Masculinity, fatherhood, responsible love, benevolence, dynamism, stable stability. Questions. What brings stability to this situation? What are your ambitions? What boundaries do you need now? Alright, so answer those questions. Um, can be that of fatherhood, fertility and pregnancy there, you stepping into a more leadership role. Okay. Lots of forgot about Gwen. 
Arthur's nephew and champion, he accepts the challenge of the Green Knight and submits to being beheaded, but the Green Knight merely nicks his neck because Gawain accepted the magical token of Lady Bertilic. He wears her interlaced knot forever around a shield. Hawk of Gawain's ancient Celtic name. Gwalch me. Hawk of May hovers overhead. Self-discipline, enduring strength, abilities, exercise, vitality, moral certitude, courage to accept challenges, fortitude, passion, questions. What's the source of your courage? Who or what are you defending here? What is the appropriate response? Okay, so yeah, let's get proven strength. Okay, you overcame those challenges. All right. Then we need to move on to the spiral tower. Lightning shatters the tower upon a high tour. But the spiral tower remains. Although the round table fellowship falls apart, the eternal order, indicated by the zodiac of science, continues to glow within the land. An owl flies with its prey. Radical change is part of the soul's evolution. You see that we're having radical change happening. What happened to my cars? Why are they like this? Either way, radical change is happening here. Okay. Shocking change, the realization of limitations, liberation from outworn concepts, phases, or behavior, humility, natural forces, explosions of poisons, loss of cozy security, transfiguration, self-awareness. Questions, what is breaking down or dysfunctional? What needs to go? What sudden realizations strike you? Okay. So you see that? What needs to go as well? What's, what's in the way? What is not serving you anymore? But we're having things, we're having blockages being removed, changes, you see that? That is what's being brought into your life as well. Sword main and sword hollow. Sword hollow. The sword hollow rises on the winds as the breath of life. Life energy, dispelling of illusions, conquest, championship, strength and power, truth and justice, life. Question, how is the power of life being present? How is the power of life present here? I keep noticing this dispelling and explosion here. Definitely does feel like that, like you are removing toxic energy, toxic people, toxic thoughts, people that would uh, project that onto you. That's not even affecting you. All right, change, tower, boom. They're gonna end up in their own tower moment if they keep projecting this onto you. However, championship, once again, what is being championed here? You are overcoming these obstacles here, okay? Because you are powerful. We have Sword Maiden. Sword Maiden. Dindrain, Percival's sister, weaves the sword belt and embodies the scabbard with her hair. An insightful, quick, truthful, flexible, discerning person, unexpected, sometimes challenging news. What cuts to the heart of the matter is the question. Okay, the Sword Maiden can be yourself or someone that you know. And we have Spear 9 and Spear 5. Spear 5. Against the setting sun, the cross spears rests against a monolith. Contention and strife, solitary struggle, pedonimous, dictatorial attitudes, obstruction, question who are you or what are you trying to best? Okay, so it feels like there, yeah, you have someone here trying to compete against you or trying to get in the way here, trying to project onto you, trying to cause issues. However, you rise as a champion and you remove their them okay it gets shedded out of your life all right a turbulent sea crashes against high jagged cliffs on which a spear stands enduring strength difficulties ahead laying down reserves preparation against adversity risk assessment question what keeps you persevering okay you see that strength you have that enduring strength here to keep going up ahead. Stone Maiden. Yeah, you see you see that? Look at this, I just realized this. So you have this person here, or these people here, trying to come against you, but you are, like, highly connected with spiritual realms, alright? And you are strong here. So you repel that, right? And you say no. And you shed that away from your life. You become the champion, okay? And look how they end up here. You have spirit here that's like, okay, so let's take care of this person. That's gonna end up like this person here. That's them. They keep messing around. The 
stone maiden walks across the snow bearing the head of a man on a platter. Blood falls into the snow. Over a standing stone, a raven hovers. Practical, capable, considerate, realistic person. Time to study a contract. Question, what must you study? And what must you study in this matter? Okay. Have sword three, the Grail Maiden, Stone eight, Sword Queen, the Grail Knight, Talisian, Stone Queen, Sword two. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at these cards here. But the major arcana is Talisian. So let's have a look at that on the bottom of the deck. We have the Marlin. It's Talisian, the poet of Arthur, sits in a firelit hall telling a story of, to two children, the story of his initiated transformations and chased by Sarah. He accompanies Arthur and his descent to Aemon, and is a witness of Arthur's passing into Avalon. The lark represents his unceasing voice and memory. Tradition, revelation, insight, inspiration, preserving heritage and ancient memory, initiation, advice or counsel, spiritual transformation, questions. What inspires you about this? What is seeking to be revealed? What is the next step in your story? And what question here is what's going to be the next step after all this, all right? And another thing is it feels like that you may be passing down spiritual knowledge to that of children in future generations here because of this, these two children here. Which we do have a bunch of maidens, and maidens are not fully queens, so keep that in mind. That could be like a, a younger sort of person, right? We have, the, we have sword queen, sword two, Sword Queen, Sword 2, and Sword 3. Near two swords of a truce party in Adler Curls. The truce before the Battle of Camelot. Truce or temporary peace, compromise, hesitation, suspension of beliefs or opinions, analysis before action. Question What brings the peace? Feels like there's going to be a truce here. Sword 2. We have sword three, a broken bridge, Percival, oh, loss, sour, sour, sorrow, separation, breakup, jealousy, deep disappointment, bereavement, question, what is being lost here? I feel like that's because this person's gonna, gonna start realizing that when things start happening to them, when they start losing things, when, th when their own things that they're trying to project onto you happen to them, they start to like, it kind of clicks in their little brain that they should not be doing these types of things. So I think the truce happens and they kind of leave you alone. One of the nine wise women of Gloucester, who trains Percival in deeds of arms, brandishes her sword. A keenly intelligent, shrewd, independent, disciplined person, careful analysis, fosterage of skills. Question, what defense, independence, and truth? Okay, this sword queen can be yourself or someone that you know. And we have a stone queen, grail. So we have to do grails next. Grail knight, then grail maiden. We have the Grail Knight. Galahad follows a vision of the Grail through the wood. Meditative, receptive, visionary, charming, empathetic, romantic person, idealism, emotional response. Question, what vision inspires you and what is inspiring you here? See, what's the next step after this? What is inspiring you here and the next step here? All right. This Grail Knight can also be you, yourself. Now we have the Grail Maiden. Beside a spring, the Grail Maiden stands holding an earthenware vessel, an imaginative Creative, loving, sympathetic, artistic, humanitarian person, a dream, inspirational news. Question, how do you serve the grail? How do you serve spirit? How do you serve the grail here? Hmm. Let's get these these two grails. They can be you, grail knight, grail maiden, or someone that you know. We have stone, stone eight. Stonemason's yard with an unfinished carving, training for the quest, prudence, patient application, apprenticeships to a craft, better results through gaining professional skills, methodical work, detailed preparation, question what do you need to practice, sees that, what do you need to study, what do you need to practice, what is your best craft, that's all linked together, so there's a need to practice that of your best craft here, there's a need to study more of your best craft here. A 
A stone queen sits at the window of her castle, a blackbird perches on her hand. She holds up the mirror to the scene. The board is set and ready for play nearby. A nurturing, abundant, productive, resourceful person organized prosperity. Question, where must you place your resources? Okay. Now let's move on to these. That's just too many. Although I will say, it's very interesting is that one of the cards that fell out was the White Heart, which we did see the White Heart earlier in the different deck. So. We're number eight with the Sacred Grove. Nature, renewal, longevity, protection. Number 15 with Myths of Avalon. Boundary, Enchantment, Illusion, Transformation. Number 7, the Holy Thorn. Optimism, Courage, the Sacred, Perseverance. Number 12 with the Holy Grail. Wisdom, Regeneration, Life Force, Spirit. Number 5 with the White Spring. Protection, Healing, Energy, Gratitude. 32 with Bronwyn. Sacrifice, Letting Go, Balance, Support. And we have the White Raven here. Or 29 with Sarah doing transformation, rebirth, inspiration, creativity. The world level with Excalibur, action, truth, sovereignty, power. See that? You're being protected here, alright? And you're being granted power. Like I said, what we were talking about earlier. Protection, that bounces off of them. And you also have strength and power here, alright? But, you have rebirth, renewal. I feel like that's that renewal of that love connection there. And also, yourself here. You're having the Holy Grail, you're having the Spirit here. White Spring, that is that of cleansing. Like I said, you're going to be shedding some things, letting go, and that feels like people are trying to come against you. The Myths of Avalon, that's like you discovering the secret world of magic and mystic, right? On the deck of Morgan Le Fay. We're 21 with ingrain, feminine power, beauty, motherhood, acceptance. We're 17, the Lady of the Lake, the goddess, other world, mystery, self knowledge. We're 28 with Mamu, opportunity, confidence, respect, self esteem. We're 33, which is important, number blood with manifestation, authenticity, renewal, freedom. We're 18, the Marlin, equilibrium, perception, magic, alchemy. Number two with the tour, connection, source, truth, clarity. Number 25 with the priestess of Avalon, divine inspiration, ancient knowledge, healing, initiation. Number 14, sacred union, sexuality, growth, vitality, fertility. You see, you see that? There's that renewal. That's this rebirth happening. It's you and this person here, you and your lover here. That connection that was once broken being mended because you're the priestess here working to have all this come into you like you connect with the marlin all right passing through the lady of the lake you have magical times here uh, magic lady of the lake pass whether or not you are worthy to receive this and i feel like what we've seen earlier is that you've proven your strength to prove that you are worthy of receiving this and then we have ingrain which is motherhood and we had arthur which was uh fatherhood so linking those together Number 20 with Guinevere, sexuality, love, beauty, feminine power. 34 with Brigid, birth, soul empowerment, radiance, passion. Number 36, the white heart, realignment, awakening, perspective, and new beginnings. 13 with the dragon, pathfinder, integration, strength, power. Number 19 with King Arthur, power, leadership, authority, justice. Number 10 with the other world, rebirth, a journey, the ethereal, everlasting. 27th Lady of Shalot, Illusion, Victim, Love, Idealism. 35 with the King in the Fairy Realm, Journey, Death and Rebirth, Personal Power, Renewal. Okay, since you're both having your personal power being renewed to you, your lover here having their personal power being renewed to them, your spiritual power. Okay. But you're passing through this other world to really obtain this here, the White Heart. That is a realignment and awakening 
right, to really birth this into your life, you and your person, which feels like you might be this dragon here, where you're both kind of like opposites in some way. Guinevere, you're rising into your feminine power, it feels like they're rising into their spiritual um, masculine power. Arthur, which is justice. We have the chariot. You see that? We have the sun and then we have the moon. The sun and the moon. This dragon's here. So you're like opposites, but you complete each other. We have the two of cups. Magician. Ten of Swords, Fool, and Hierophant, Seven of Wands, Four, or Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're manifesting this this love here, this union, okay? This relationship, which can lead to something long-term, can be that of family in the future, okay? And you're also having someone here, Which we already seen before, facing kind of like their own karma. The Nine of Pentacles. The Moon, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Page of Wands, The Empress, Justice, Queen of Swords, which we've seen that earlier. So, yeah. I guess like you are connecting with the Sun, they may be more connecting with the Moon. Alright? Or the Empress, they may be like the Emperor or something. But this is Justice here happening. Alright? You're merging as the Empress. You're having opportunities, you're having abundance here, financial abundance. The moon. This is what the moon has brought into your life. Yeah, we have the sun. So that we have the moon and the sun. Two of pentacles, six of swords, eight of swords. King of Wands, which is fire, we have the Five of Wands, the World, the Knight of Cups. You see that? You are receiving here. I definitely do see that. Okay, you are in alignment. You are getting everything here that you desired. But I also see that, 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 that like a person here is watching from a distance who has gotten caught up in their own stuff of what they tried to do to you. See that? They're surrounded by swords here. They're surrounded by these wood. They're kind of stuck. So is one thing, but I mean, they, they did that to themselves. Number 20 with waning Gibbous, number 4 with beauty. Number 8, the waxing crescent, number 6 with the path. 35 with the thunder moon, change, you see that change, spiral tower, boom, big change here, going on the path, alright? Beauty, which might be yourself. Number 36 is green corn moon patience. 22, which is an important number, winning Gibeas number 6 with wisdom. Number 15, waxing Gibeas number 6 with action. 44, which is an important number, super moon with attraction. Number nine, with first quarter moon, assessing. You see that? So I feel like your person here is, has been kind of like waiting and kind of like assessing and why not to take action or which actions to take towards you is they are still feeling this attraction here. Forty-one, queen of the moon, sovereignty.
43 with Blue Moon, The Unexpected. Number 38, Hunter Moon with Abundance. Number 33, which is an important number, Flower Moon with Blossoming. Number 3, Waxing Crescent number 1 with Realization. Number 6, with Waxing Crescent number 4 with Self Love. Number 10, with Waxing Gibby's number 1 with Sermon. Number 40, Long Night Moon with Darkness in Reverse. Okay, you see that darkness in reverse here. Abundance is coming in, blooming, blossoming, things. This is coming in unexpectedly, but hey, it's it's good, right? We're also having this realization in self-love here, all right? So let's get some ruins and some charms. Okay. So we have obsidian, which is a protective stone. Yeah, we have change here happening. We also have the raven, the raven which can be magic, raven which can be more than the fae, messages from spirit, and that of mystic. Okay, but either way, we have things changing here dramatically. We have you being protected here. We have communication coming in. We have things coming into flow. All right, new beginnings and births here. All right, um, things opening up for you. This is what you've been initiated into to receive this. Okay, so. That is all I have for you at the moment, and this uh, stream will continue. Like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop, go on there, go buy something, really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, drop a like, subscribe, and let me put this away. Alright, so this is just a reminder, hey, hit that subscribe button, hit that, fo um, not follow, but hit that like button as well. Also, what was I going to say? Oh, oh yeah, also, in the description down below, you'll find my Etsy shop. Currently, there's a 50% off sale on most shop items from now until the 21st of this month. Here, you can find my tarot cards. My oracle cards, my holographic stickers, the mini holographic version of my oracle cards on there, my pins, which are acrylic. We have the Green Man pin, and Serapis Bay pin, White Raven pin. All that's in the description down below. All right, that's the shop. Okay, so let's see what it is. I want to say Taurus. Also, keep in mind that this is not for any specific sign or person. This is just for who watches it now and who watches it later. And the Five of Swords. King of Cups, which is water. So we have alignment in the child of pentacles. So it tells me that you're in alignment here in child. That can be like an actual child around you. Child of pentacles also talks about studying. Child of pentacles can also be the sign of Virgo. Knight of swords. Five of wands. Six of pentacles. The moon, which can be cancer. Ten of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so we are manifesting with this moon here is what it feels like. It feels like you are going through the new and leaving behind the old. Okay, it feels like you're leaving behind a lot of the old here. It feels like someone's mask is already also um, falling off here, revealing their true selves here. Knight of Swords, the King of Cups. It feels like another thing is that you're shedding something here, and what you're shedding is someone projecting onto you negative energy, trying to cause disruption in your relationships, your friendships, all that sort of stuff. So you're leaving that behind. You're manifesting this with this moon. You're manifesting your Ten of Cups, what makes you happy, what emotionally fulfills you here. All right, you're receiving from the universe, and then we have a King of Cups here, which is like a water sign here. All right, their heart is open towards you.
Yeah, the priestess, king of pentacles. King of pentacles can be Taurus, so that was one thing I was picking up. Yeah, if the priestess, which can be Pisces and Scorpio. So with the priestess being here, that's staying silent and using your intuition. King of pentacles could be like that of the father. We have the death card, which is Scorpio. Three of wands, child of swords, birth. Four of Swords, Child of Cups, Door, Queen of Cups, which is water. So if you see your heart's open, their heart's open, definitely do have like Scorpio here. But we have this door being open here. Alright, it's time to get out of this break mode. Okay, new beginnings are here. Uh, things are growing for you. They're excelling. You're manifesting with your heart space. And it also feels like there could be an upcoming child pregnancy or birth here because we have birth. We have two children here. Child of Cups and Child of Swords. Okay? Child of Swords is like practicing your skill in or magic or something like that. Death card talks about transformation. And the priest just once again... We have the lovers with the child of pentacles. So yeah, you're definitely connecting with someone here. Like we were talking about before with King of Cups, which is lover. Alright, and we have a child. They may be studying you. We've got Child of Pentacles being there, but we have the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Wizard. Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Okay, look at this. Hmm. So you have a lot of spiritual treasures within yourself here. It feels like you're manifesting here. You're manifesting your Ace of Pentacles. That's new beginnings, growth, material wealth. There's a lot of pathways being opened up for you. You're using your intuition here. You're heavily connected here. And it feels like you have someone else here who is like a snake. Must be trusted, but they're... they're the person that may have projected onto you before, their negative thoughts, that's coming back around to them. You see, that's binding their own selves, what they try to do to you. That's just reflected back onto them. We have the star with the seven of swords. Seven of swords talks about someone trying to trick you. Uh, the star can be Aquarius. The star can be hopes and dreams as well. And the sun. Spider, which can be Scorpio. Eight of wands. Five of cups. Six of wands. Child of wands. The dragon. The two of swords. Okay, look at this. So, you're moving up here. There's a lot of rebirth, transformation, creativity, all that sort of stuff. You're moving into more joy. But it definitely does feel like you have some communication here, and I definitely feel like that's with the Scorpio. Okay? So we have a lot of cards up there. You have success here coming into your life, and it's a lot more um, than you anticipated. The dragon talks about power, good luck supernatural um, powers as well. It must be the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon, the child of wands. Once again, we have a child here. It could be a child of magic. It's like there's letting go of restrictions and bindings. It's heavily being implied here. And what I feel like is that this Scorpio is maybe someone that you may have been missing. You have other water signs here, but that is mainly what I feel here the most. We have strength with the six of cups. So you're emerging into your strength here. It can also be someone here that you know of emerging into their strength. It can also be like a sibling or something, or something non-romantic. It's like soul connection, but not that of romantic here. We have the ace of wands, deeper awakening, which can be Scorpio. We have the knight of cups, lovers, king of pentacles, two of cups, judgment, 
alignment. See, you're coming into alignment here. You're going through this deeper awakening, coming into alignment with your lover here. Okay, which feels like there's a new beginning here. All right, there's a return, a renewal. Two of Cups, that's love. All right. The Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth. Have the tower, nine of wands, star once again, three of pentacles, the hangman, nine of swords, devil. Okay, look at that. so what I see is that I see you moving up, especially in career. Unexpectedly, a lot of good things coming in your career, money, business, a lot of money coming in. You being very successful, star can even be like a lot of people, you know, like kind of like stardom almost in a celebrity sense here. But I also see a release of that, of toxicity, which we did see that, like, someone negative or something negative, something toxic, someone trying to project that onto you. There's a release of that, boom, and then they get their own tower, because that's, you know, projecting onto people is not right. And six pentacles with the ace of cups. You see that your generosity is rewarding you here in a new beginning. Your ace of cups, the grail, that of emotional satisfaction, that of wishes, all that sort of stuff. And we have the seven of swords, which I don't like. Page of cups, knight of cups, wheel of fortune, king of cups, which is water, high priestess, which is Pisces, ace of wands, ten of pentacles. There also might be a Pisces here, which you really should not try. Trust the way that it's coming up. King of Cups, Seven of Swords. That's not a trustworthy person. Okay. And you have the High Priestess, which is Pisces. I think you're aware of this. Here, I see them trying to act like they're your friend, but they're not really. I see a lot of new beginnings and a lot of money coming in. A lot of stability here. Ten of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. I see you actually blocking this person here because you're not interested in their bullcrap. And the Hierophant, which be Taurus, the Queen of Wands, which is Fire, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Strength Card, which is Leo, Hermit, which is Virgo, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so we have someone here debating on whether or not to communicate here. To stay distant or to communicate, they're a bit unsure on whether or not to do that, okay? However, definitely does feel like your connection to God and the Divine is really rewarding you here. Six of Pentacles. Let's see if we have Strength. And the Eight of Pentacles with Judgment. As you being heavily focused here on your craft, it feels like you are ascending here, and also see a return, like I've been saying. We have Six of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Justice, which is Libra, Queen of Swords, which is Air, King of Wands, which is Fire, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. Your Ten of Cups is coming in here. Okay, this is Justice here happening. We have someone taking action towards you here. Success and just overall happiness. Partnerships as well. We have sword eight, stone six, spear three, a flowering of lovers. Stone Hollow, Star, the Moon, Guinevere. It's like we have a child here. 
waiting to be born. The moon, Guinevere, a flower in the vloggers. We have two children, like we discussed here earlier in the, the reading. Star, that talks about a new beginning, new era. It must be dreams as well. Alright. We have Guinevere sits spinning in a meadow while a white cow grazes nearby. She is Arthur's queen and the guardian of peace and concord in the land. In Celtic tradition, she is the beautiful face of sovereignty, the flower bride whose consort rules the land, which is why many legends speak of her abduction by would be rulers. It says, Fulfillment, beauty, abundance, creative growth, material and spiritual wealth, fertility, motherhood, health, harmony, femininity. Questions. What is yearning to be filled now? How does it serve beauty and harmony? What needs to be nurtured? Okay. So, it definitely does feel like that. Like, there's fertility, there's abundance here, motherhood, um, abundance, material, and spiritual wealth. Now the star. Watchman witnesses a dragon-tailed comet over loggers. The second watchman sleeps. Cockerel heralds the dawning of a new era. And the Pendragons will bring the land from anarchy, tribal rivalry, and invasion to a state of defensive peace. The dragon is the emblem of the Pendragons, Uther and Arthur. Hope, dreams, faith, desire, trust, a new cycle, inspiration, protection of loved ones, refreshment, a new influence on social consciousness. Questions. What do you hope for in this matter? What shoots of renewal are showing? What is the source of your refreshment? We have the moon. Salmon leads the way to the discovery of Mabon, the god of innocence and truth, la lost from the beginning of time, finding embryonically depicted in the full moon, as one of the quest of Colwich, Arthur's nephew. Only the oldest animals remember Mabon's location. It says generation and gestation, cycle growth patterns, fluctuation, dreams and visions, deep memory, introspection, the creative process, seasonal round instinct, questions, what are your dreams telling you, what grows in the darkness, what messages do your instincts bring? Okay, one thing, your dreams. It feels like you may be having psychic dreams here as well. So the landscape of the seeker card is here, restored. A mature seeker joins hand with the children of the Tillisian card in delight. The bee and the butterfly represent renewed fertility. The quest of the wasteland is the aim of the quest for the hollows. Now the land of loggers flowers once again within the rainbow path. We have perfection, restoration, culmination, triumph, attainment, rapture, healing and benefit, a new era, a sense of unity. Questions. What makes things whole? What is being restored here? How can you enjoy the freedom and abundance being offered, okay? Sword. Eight. Spear. Three. Okay. So that is like everything coming to complete. We're on a new era, and there's a bunch of completion with this. This is a sword in a marsh recalls the stubbornness of Grant to prove his manhood, even despite the suffering involved. It says restriction, bounded duty, imprisonment, isolation, intolerance, depression, keeping face, question what is binding. You see that? Releasing that of which is binding you. You see that? That is being released. That is being broken here. Okay, because you're on a new era. Alright. Spear 3. Spear 3. Forest of adventure leads seekers deeper into the quest. Confidence. Expansiveness. Proven strength. Enterprising. Initiative. Question. How are your plans creating your path? Okay. And there's a lot of expansion now. Alright? Especially with work. Alright. Enterprise. Stone Hollow and Stone Six. Stone Hollow. In the earth of an underground cavern, the board glows with power, wisdom, spiritual treasures, consolation, well-being, prosperity, instinct, natural law. Question, where is your hidden treasure? Okay, looks like you have a lot of spiritual treasures here. Spiritual gifts with inside yourself. Then we have Stone Six. Ancient stone circle becomes a place for a new gathering. Material success, good fortune, share, generosity, charity, patronage, gifts, thankfulness, great work, sharing. Question, what do you have to share? Now, now that you receive this abundance, that of sharing it as well, so that you continue the cycle of abundance here. Okay.
The Grail Seven, Sword Queen, Stone Knight, Seeker, Spear Six, Spear King, The Round Table, Sword Two. What's very interesting here, I see you seeking, and I see you working hard for what you have. And I see a lot of success coming with that, but I also see someone here in an illusion. Okay, the Sword Queen with the Spear King. Okay? So that'd be like people that you know. They can be an illusion over someone else here. And that feels more like a friendship vibe rather than a love sense for you. Okay? Let's see where that it comes out. So we have a Seeker. Let's have a look at the Seeker. Seeker, the round table for the Major Arcana here. And a Seeker. In a wasted landscape, the Seeker, who represents everyone, sets out on a quest, taking the rainbow path, impelled by the song of the birds of Rayanon, who enable him to follow his vision. The world? When the world is laid to waste and people yearn for healing, Seekers heed the call to find solutions. Their quests open up possibilities. Okay. Childlike trust, divine discontent, Protection, the folly to be wise, optimism, adventure, spontaneity, youthful energy. Questions. How does spontaneity and trust keep you on this path? What enthusiasm do you feel? What possibilities are call calling you forth? Okay, so what possibilities are you seeking here? Okay. Paths. Paths. Round table. Through Marlin's eye, a stone hinge. Above it... Above it is the round table, while above this is a circle of stars surrounding a crystal cup. From the cup of tribal council to Arthur's round table and future visions of peaceful government, we seek balanced ways of representing the rights of all beings. It says timeliness, good fortune, cycle change, cause and effect, the next phase or opportunity, cosmic law. Questions, what patterns are forming now? What is evolving? What guidance do your experiences give you? Okay, but look at this. We're on to a new phase, the next phase after this. Okay. So I'm trying to see, do we have swords? We have sword two and sword queen. Near to our swords of a truce party and add their curls. A truce before the Battle of Camelon. Truce or temporary peace, compromise, hesitation, suspension of beliefs or opinions, analysts before action. Question what brings peace? It feels like, yeah, there's a temporary truce between two people here sword queen and spear king. Alright. So, sort of queen. One of the nine wise women of Gloucester, who trains Percival in the deeds of arms, furnishes her sword. A keenly, shrewd, independent, disciplined person, careful analysis, fosters of skill, question what depend what defends independence and truth. So that dis that display that, yeah, that explains the sword queen here and their personality. Okay, we have a spear king, spear six. So spear six and spear king. Spear Six, the banner of victory, flies to claim Arthur's great triumph over the Saxons. I'm out bad up. Victory, advancement, pride and achievement, recognition, ceremony, or honors, promotion, efforts, reward. Question, what do you have to be proud of? And what do you have to be proud of at the moment, since you are still seeking here the next phase? All right. After all this here, there's a lot of victory and success, recognition here. Okay. Now the Spear King, out of forge, the Spear King tests the keenness of his spear's point. A warm, friendly, committed, entrepreneurial, and magnificent person promises to a question, how are you enabling this? Alright, then we have the Grail. The Grail and the Stone Knight. Grail 7. In the waters of a lake, a fortress is reflected as a fairy how. A cup of silver stands upon near the bank. Self-deception, illusion, and overactive imagination. Unrealistic fantasy, glamour of delusion. Question, what is deluding you? And then we have the Stone Knight. Stone Knight rides a bay horse through a mountain pass at sunset. On his arm is a checkered shield. A dependable, hard-working, patient, persevering, committed, stable person. Help with finances and responsibility. Question, what are you depending on? So you might be the Stone Knight over here. Okay.
Number 35, Thunder Moon with Change. Number 12, with Wax and Gibby's number 3 with Boundaries. Number 1, with Dark Moon, The Void. Number 7, Wax and Person number 5 with Nourishment. Number 44, which is an important number, with Super Moon Attraction. Number 9, First Quarter Moon with Assassin. 33, which is an important number, Flower Moon with Blossoming. Number 3, with Wax and Person number 1 with Realization. Alright, so we're having Realization here, we're setting up Boundaries. Are assessing the, the situation and boom, change is coming in. You're attracting that change of abundance here. Number 21 with Wax, Waning Gibbous, number 5 with Resilience, number 39, Beaver Moon with Creation, number 8, Waxing Crescent, number 6 with Path. 41, Queen of the Moon, Sovereign Arity. 24, with Waning Crescent, number 1, with Protection. 34, with Hot Moon, Extremes. 36, Green Corn, Moon, Patience. 20, with Waning Gibbous, number 4, with Beauty. Alright, so we're going down the path of creation here. Alright, you're also being protected. There's a lot of patience of all this coming in. But, going down this path of creation, alright, like creative projects. We have number 19 with Waning Gibby's number 3 with Balance. Number 2 with New Moon Beginnings. Number 16, Full Moon Power. 13, Waxing Gibby's number 4 with Will. Number 15, Waxing Gibby's number 6 with Action. Number 26 with Waning Crescent number 3 with Surrender. 31 with Warm Moon Faith. Number 6 with Waxing Crescent number 4 with Self Love. Like this new beginnings here. Alright, with this full moon. We have action thing being taking place here. Having faith that everything is coming in here. Alright, balance and self love. Forty three with Blue Moon, the Unexpected. Or eighteen, winning Gibby Summer Two with Pleasure. Twenty seven with Wang Crescent number four with release. Number five with Waxing Crescent number three with growth. 25 with Waning Crescent number 2 with Resistance. Number 10 with Waxing Gibbous number 1 with Discernment. 14 with Waxing Gibbous number 5 with Focus. Or 17 with Waning Gibbous number 1 with Self Reflection. So we are doing some self reflection, but I feel like that brings in a lot of self uh, acceptance and self love here. There's a lot of discernment on what to release and what to resist against and what to focus on, what to grow upon here. Blue Moon. Blue Moon. So there's things coming in very unexpectedly. There's a lot of abundance, but it's a lot more than what you've been expecting. Okay, so let's get some ruins and some charms here. Okay. So we have the monkey, which can be the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. We have some communication coming in. We have a breakthrough here. Okay. We have rewards coming in. We have strength. We have abundance here. This is all big breakthroughs. So we have a breakthrough in abundance, prosperity, material wealth, and then we have a breakthrough in communication, which we did discuss that earlier. Okay. So. That is all I have for you. And like I said, Go on my Etsy shop, go on to go buy something, really appreciate that. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, that's also going to be in the description down below. Also, if you want to see more content, hit like, subscribe. Bye, guys.